Good morning and welcome back to another devotional this morning. The title of a devotional is called Growing Pains. And the text is the book of Romans chapter 8, 20 and 21. Let me read this for you. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willing, but because of him who subjected it in hope. That the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. Let's pray. Father, help us, O oh God, to understand that when you work in our lives, when you expose things, when you bring things that we thought we had conquered, and then when the stressors come, the triggers come, O oh Lord, help us to know that you're working for the future glory in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Paul here is talking about the future glory. And the context here is, he's talking about the creation being subjected to futility. Not willingly. The creation did not do anything because of the curse that came to this world, because of what human beings did. The creation itself goes through birth pangs, situation where it is subjected to futility and it's hoping for its liberation. But there is hope for the creation as well as people. We have hope in this world. So as our author today mentions, there are certain times that we thought that we had conquered certain of our areas in our lives that we had conquered anger probably had conquered some of those stresses, some of those areas that we thought uh, have far gone by, but sometimes they trigger, sometimes they create issues and we respond in our old ways. We are still weak. We have three enemies in this world. One is our own flesh. Sometimes we forget that the flesh, our flesh is our enemy because we have inherited the fleshly nature from Adam. And then it's the world. The world attracts us. The world wants to create problems for us. It wants us to be part of it, which, by the way, the world is God's enemy. And then we have the devil on top of all these things. He is there making sure that we live in pain, we live in stressed situations. But in all of these things, there is hope because God is forming us. He's forming our personality. He's forming our life. One thing is certain. When God finishes with us, we will be in the best place in life. No matter what is happening. My brother and sister, are you going through some of these growing pains in your life? And all of us go through them. Because none of us are perfect. All of us are weak. But in the midst of these three enemies, our flesh, the world, and the devil, Jesus Christ, who came to this world as a human being, he died for us, and he was resurrected, and he ascended at the right hand of the Father, and he has given us authority, and he's given us strength to be strong in him. Let's pray. Father, I pray that your strength may be given to each one who is going through a stressful situation at this moment. That Lord, the outcome of everything, no matter what they are going through, will be what you want them to be. In Jesus' mighty matchless name we pray. Amen.